The UNSW Nuclear Innovation Centre has been launched to advance Australia's nuclear science industry. It's supported by a $7.5 million donation from the Sir William Tyree Foundation, which will establish research scholarships in nuclear engineering. It's the largest nuclear engineering program in Australia, the University of New South Wales Nuclear Innovation Centre. Officially opened by Minister of Defence Industry Pat Conroy, who says it's a pivotal moment. Where we're seeing the biggest arms race since 1945 and the greatest strategic uncertainty. So the acquisition of these submarines is critical and the workforce being trained at places like here at UNSW will be critical to building that national endeavour that will also support 20,000 jobs. Assistant Minister of Defence Matt Thistlethwaite and Federal Member for Kingsford Smith also at the launch. Yeah, I'm very proud as an alumni of UNSW that this innovation centre is located here in my electorate. A $7.5 million donation from the Sir William Tyree Foundation will provide scholarships in nuclear engineering. We've been gifted $7.5 million by the Tyree Foundation. We're very, very grateful because this is really going to see our um, this sort of core of the program through for the next 10 years. It's a really good opportunity when we want to achieve decarbonisation. We have to consider nuclear energy as part of our energy mix for Australia. It is going to be that next generation that's going to make it happen and we need to give them the skill sets and that background to, to join that workforce. It is an apolitical centre and at the launch there was plenty of discussion on the often labelled taboo topic of nuclear. I think people are so afraid of nuclear because they don't really understand the power of the technology. They don't understand that it has immense benefits to the society and they don't understand that they are already receiving the benefits of nuclear technology in their daily lives. While nuclear is a yes for Australia's security, the Labor government says it's not in the mix for the race against renewables. Uh, no, no there's not. And I want to be frank with you and your viewers. Nuclear power is somewhere between four and five times more expensive than renewable energy firmed up with batteries or pumped hydro to be made completely reliable. I, I honestly, I respect the Minister's position because I know that there is currently bipartisan support for um, for AUKUS in the government and that's incredibly important at the moment and I can quite understand um, perhaps the deals they had to do to ensure that bipartisan support continues. Some experts think we might struggle to reach net zero by 2050 without the help of nuclear. I think it's really hard for us to do that. The math doesn't add up if we as an Australian nation want to still maintain our industrial complex, our mining system, our metal fabrication. It all needs industrial heat, which solar and wind just can't provide. Well, nuclear energy doesn't stack up in comparison to renewables. Uh, it's a much higher cost. Uh, in reality, to establish a nuclear energy industry here in Australia, you're looking at at least eight to ten years. Um, and it's not financially viable. Uh, the way to go is to continue to invest in renewables, cleaner, cheaper energy, and that's the government's plan.